hello friends tony here welcome uh, in this video we are going to fix some issues we have with our front end as you can see i am in the dashboard right now i'm logged in and if i refresh yeah you can see if i go to home and navigate back on the dashboard we make a request to get the user anytime we navigate on the dashboard and we don't want that we, if we have the user why we make a get request to, the, to get the user again. Let's fix that. Let's open the VS Code. And here on the dashboard, we make a get request to get the user. But instead of just do that, let's say I'm going to use the unmounted hook. And here I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to check if and if I go on the r.ts, we have this is logged in. When we get the user, we assign the user value with the response data, and this is logged in boolean, we change that uh, true. When we log out, we change the false. With that, now I'm going to say if the is logged in, sorry, the auth dot is logged in is false so for that i'm going to say it's not true in that case i'm going to call the auth dot get user but if this is true we are not going to make this request and let's save and let's see now let's come here go to home we have the user and now we are not making the request. If I log out and go to home, let's clean this, let's go to dashboard. Anytime now we navigate on the dashboard, we make a get request to get the user because we don't have the user. And the second issue is this. If we are not logged in, I want to protect this and only the logged in user can navigate on the dashboard. So. If we are on not logged in and we navigate on the dashboard, I'm going to redirect to the login uh, or to the login, yeah, to the login route. So let's go and register with this user. Also, if we are logged in and navigate on the login or register, I want to protect and redirect them on the to the dashboard. Okay. So if we are. Uh, logged in and click on the login i want to redirect back to dashboard not to visit login because our register because right now we are logged in and if i want to register again we're going to have the 302 response and redirect on the dashboard so for that let's open the vs code and uh, i'm going to open the index in the route here we have the routes for the home, uh, register, login, and dashboard. Now I'm going to add a meta on the register, login, and the dashboard. The home I'm going to leave it because anyone can visit the home. For the register, I'm going to add a meta property here, and I'm going to say this one is going to require requires guest and say true here. So, if we are guest, we can visit this register. Otherwise, I'm going to redirect the dashboard. The same thing for here. So, meta, meta, and also this one is going to require auth. Oh, sorry, guest. And this is going to be true. Now, let's copy this and do the same thing here but just we're going to change now this one is going to require auth so the dashboard is going to require auth with that now we can scroll down we can say a router and before each before each route we are going to make some uh, checks and here we accept to uh, from and next
and let's say. First, I'm going to distract here that is logged in boolean we have. Okay. Based on this, we are going to see if the user is logged in or not. So let's say const is logged in, or we can say just auth to be able with use auth store. Okay. And then I'm going to say if to dot sorry dot match dot sum and here I'm going to say record and the record dot meta dot requires if that requires auth and the auth dot is logged in is false if that is false i want to navigate back to the right back so i'm going to call next and here i'm going to specify the name and in this case it's going to be a login so let's copy that and paste it here Okay, so if to match some records and the record meta requires out and the out is logged in is false, in that case I want to redirect the login. Also, else if now the same thing but the opposite we are going to check. So let's copy this and paste it here. Else, if to match, to match at some records and record meta now instead of requires out, I'm going to say requires guest. And instead of the is logged in is false, I'm going to check if is logged in is true. We are going to navigate next to dashboard. And the name is dashboard here, so just paste that in. Also, we are going to say else next navigate the next request so first we get the out and then we checked if this to match some record and the record meta requires out but the out is logged in is false we are going to navigate the next login else if to match uh, require meta requires guest and we are logged in i'm going to navigate the next name dashboard otherwise navigate the next so for example for this home we are going to navigate the home any if we are logged in or if we are not let's save and let's uh, open the terminal and for just in case i'm going to stop and run again this one and now let's open the chrome also let's open again the warp terminal and just here on the back end i'm going to run artisan migrate fresh and now composer run dev and let's see the table plus or refresh i don't have any users so let's let's uh, see if i click on the dashboard yeah i'm going to click on the dashboard now but we are staying on the login if i go to register and then click on the dashboard we navigate the login yeah let's go and register a new user okay as you can see we redirect on the login and why is that is because let's open again the vs code and we'll go to out here when we register we register the user we try and then we redirect to the dashboard but the is logged in is not true okay so we need to navigate to get the user which this user is going to change that is logged in value to true for that let's go and uh, on the register yeah if we have a success a register i'm going to call the get user okay and let's say await here to get the user and the same thing i'm going to do for the login 
let's save and I'm going to go on the application and delete the cookies. Okay, next go here, clean everything. If I go to dashboard, yeah, redirect here if I go to register. And now let's register with a John, uh, John at do.com, add the password and password again. And let's say register. Now, yeah, we are directed on the dashboard. Okay, what if I want to go and click on the login? I click on the login, nothing happened. We stay here. If I click on the register, nothing happened. If I clean this and just try to go to home, yeah, we can navigate the home because uh, let's open the VS Code again on the index. Here, we don't have any meta. So we just say else next. Okay. Now, if I go to dashboard, also you can see we don't make any request to get the user because we are logged in. Let's go and click on the logout. Okay. But also when we we are logged out and we stay on the dashboard. Now if I refresh, we are redirected to the login. So let me just go when we on the out. When we log out, we change everything. Just let's say the router dot push and I want to push the slash login okay let's save so let's log in with or let's go and register with a new user okay we are here let's clean everything go to home go to dashboard if I click log out now we redirect the login page. If I click on the dashboard, nothing. Click the home. We can visit the home. And let's go and uh, log in with a John Do. Add the password. Say login. Okay. What if I uh, redirect? So if I click here and we return on the login. Because when we redirect, we clean that uh, state. So the auth, let's open again the VS Code. The auth, we clean this is logged in. The be false, because this initially is false. So that's, we are directed on the login. We are logged in, but this is logged in now is false. So let me just, uh, Open again the VS Code and go on the index. If I comment this, save. And if I go to dashboard, yeah, as you can see, we are logged in with cookies. But because that is logged in is false, we are not navigating. So now if I uncomment this, come here, we, because we refresh, we lost that state and then we navigate on the login. So this is not going to work. We need to persist the state. And for that, I have opened here the Pinya plugin persist state, which is this one. So you can find on the GitHub. I'm going to install that with the npm yarn or pnpm. I will ju just copy this, open the terminal. And uh, here on the front end, let's stop and let's say ban. Paste that in, hit enter. Okay. And now we need to import this one. So let's open the VS Code. We need to go in the main.ts, copy that, then Pinya use this one. So after we created the constant pinya we need to say pinya use this plugin and when we create the store we need to say persist the true but also you can say persist and specify the storage and also pick only some state 
So let me just copy this and open the VS Code. Go to the state which is auth.ts and here I'm going to paste this one. And here we say storage is going to be session storage, not a local storage. You can do what you like. And we're going to pick some state. And in this case, I'm going to pick only the user and the is logged in. Okay. If I save this, uh, let's go and save also this one and open the warp terminal. Stop everything and start again. Dev also here, I'm going to stop everything and run this migrate fresh. So we don't have any user. And now let's open the Chrome. Go to cookies. I'm going to clean. And go and register a new user. Also, let me just open the table class and refresh. We don't have any user. So if I register, yeah. We get the cookies, we get the user also. We, if I refresh, we get this user here. Now inside the session, I'm going to click here. And as you can see, we have a key out. And then we have this is logged in, which is true and the user. Now, if you like, you can add the user or you can just so let me just open again only the VS code and on the auth if we want we can just leave the use the is logged in. Good. Open the Chrome now and let's go to network. I'm going to clean everything. Go to home, go to dashboard, we don't make any request, go to login, go to register, we still are on the dashboard. What if I refresh here? Let's click. We refresh, we still are on the dashboard, everything works correctly. Let's go and log out. Good. If I go to dashboard, nothing. If I go to register, okay. Go to home, go to dashboard, we navigate the login. Let's register with or John and John Doe account. Add the password. Password again, just to create the user. Okay. We still are here on the dashboard. The refresh, everything works. Got the login, register, nothing. Got the home, yes. Got the dashboard, log out, redirect the login. Login now with John Doe. Add the password. Ah, uh, yeah. Add the password, correct one. And now we are directed here. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you, I think now we have a very good uh, front end authentication. And now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends. All the best. See you in the next one.